All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform. Where they giving a back to back update or how things they be or how things they share for this country. Yes, my people, now we go, they're giving a back to back updates on things like this. I hope you are ready for these back to back news that we'll be giving you anytime, any day. Okay, uh, if you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too so that you'll be able to get our news anytime when we drop on bojo youtube go get them asap okay uh remember also to like and share this news okay my people uh, the latest one we just the boss heads at the moment they say yes uh, sunday Iboho. at the moment as uh, of everybody as a uh, he has his own Biafra nations, uh, rather, uh, Yoruba nations agitators. Yes, my people, recent, recently he has uh, come against them. He just came up recently. My people, I, I believe you all know the famous uh, Sunday Iwoho. That is always one way or another talking rubbish about uh, the Biafra movement. One way or another, he's always saying um, things that uh, you would think of and you would reason why is this man saying things like this. Of course, you know about Sunday Iwoho and the things he has done. But uh, my people... At some point, you you gonna say if you get sense one way or another, if you begin the reason how things happen for this country, you go they get sense. Be anytime, any day. And at this particular point, it just they give me my detail and I say this particular, but maybe sense don't actually knock come for a head. Now why don't they talk something we go make sense? And at this particular point, it feels good and it feels true that maybe, maybe, just maybe he is getting sense from somewhere. Where he is getting it from, we know Sabi. But at this particular point, I say the be you know how Sunday Iboho behaves. I don't know what has turned him off or what has turned him on, but my people are so either be. On that note, we talk about every other thing that we have on our list, and uh, we know that uh, a whole lot of things have been happening recently as the PMBRGIE has done the most. We know how um, it is whenever the PM himself decides to go way out to do things that uh, we would normally not do. As uh, in the B, as in the hot, you know that uh, recently there have been a whole lot of clashes of them. Um, of course, we know the Biafra Liberation Army and the Biafra um, and the Nigerian terrorists have been clashing, and it has caused a whole lot of mayhem. Recently, it has caused a whole lot of things that you would think about and be very, very unhappy about. And that's the truth of the matter. Nobody would be totally happy with the situation of things at this point because it is very, very. Of course, it is very, very uncertain and nobody would be happy with the situation of things as things become worse. Especially in a country like this when things are not going well. Of course, these clashes will continue and uh, we don't, uh, of course, uh, those that understand what is going on would uh, quickly uh, understand that uh, it is because of the rates of things in the country and uh, in the said country that call themselves uh, the, the Nigerian country but the, for me I we all know what uh, uh, the PM calls it a terrorist state and uh, you know that uh, with the, the, the way things have been in this particular state uh, it is not what wild it is not something you would think about and be happy to come out and talk about uh, in the open because of course we, we have come to understand that the things that have happened or the things that have taken place in the space of uh, within the seven months my people that uh, the new uh, governor, I would say, or president, uh, Jagaban, took place, it has been something very, very unstable, and that is the truth of the matter. It is, it is something that if you were to think about it, you would uh, regret it. If you are among the people that actually voted him in, uh, it is, it is, it is you. I'm sorry for you, in fact, I believe that sorry for you is the only thing I can actually tell you right now because you deserve the worst. At this particular point, that is why the PMBRGIE and F and every single person supporting the Biafra movement is supporting the Biafra movement because of course we cannot be in a country where things like this are taking place and of course people in that same country are not uh, doing the right things. Of course this terrorist state is not our place and it has never been our place. And of course with this I am here to let you know that we are going to find a way right from time. We've always been looking for a way right from time to leave this country and then we are going to use this particular opportunity that we've been getting or this particular opportunity that the PM has been giving us or we've been seeing right from time to look for a way to leave this particular place because of course we cannot be in a place like this where things do not even work out as they should 
And of course, uh, we know that the, a whole lot of plans have been going on concerning the movement and a whole lot of things, a whole lot of strategies have been put in place concerning how we want things to actually work out. And uh, if I'm being sincere with you, it is something every single one of us is looking forward to. One of us thinks or would feel that uh, the things that are happening around this time is not worthwhile. My people, every single thing that is happening now are things that uh, we've been looking forward to. The fact that... Uh, we are getting a whole lot of challenges at this point. It's what I believe um, most of us have been have been actually expecting one way or another or have been feeling that would come. And there, at this particular point, we are not scared that uh, this is what is happening right now, that uh, the situation of things is making people think that uh, they are going to be able to get away with most of the things that uh, happen nowadays. But then uh, the most important thing that we ourselves should find a way to even agree or or, or or understand in this place is that we are not i want to repeat it we are not looking for a we are not looking for just a, we are not just we don't just want mars and the calm news release no we want also our biafra freedom and that is the truth of the matter we have uh, understood that these people are not backing down then he is going to face the consequences. It means that uh, there is still no backing down, and then that means uh, the violence and uh, the way it has started would increase. It means that the back to back and the clashes, the challenges, the gun battles, and every single thing that has been pushed against him or that has been pushed against the Nigerian army will continue. And there uh, would go times 10. That is just what it means. Uh, my people, that is what it means. It will go times 10 until he realizes that uh, he has made a huge mistake. Because my people, this just shows that these people, uh, they know what they've been doing ever since uh, the normal, regular, and more powerful them and the rest of them have been trying to go on dialogue, dialogue with them. And they've been using it to prolong and they've been using it to turn them up and down, turn them upside down and talk about so many things. Uh, on top of that, uh, we told uh, the leader of Fundibu, Ohamadike, yes, Mazen uh, Namdekano, holding him down and still expecting that uh, people expecting that it would be among the things that would hold people down unfortunately they did not plan for the pm blgie yes like i always say you can hold a human being down you can shoot someone down but you can kill a whole lot of people but you cannot kill an ideology you cannot kill people that already have a mindset and have put their mind or have set their mind for something and that is the situation these people have found themselves that is the situation that the people have put themselves in you cannot wake up and say hey we are going to hunt people down or we are going to do this or we are going to do that people have set out their mind and have decided no matter the the, the 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 challenge or the push you go against those that have understood listen i'll repeat it again they, those that have come to understand how things work in this whole issue have realized and will not will not go back on whatever it is they are now standing for for the fact that they have come to understand that this is actually how it works nothing i repeat nothing they will say or they will even try to talk about is going to work out because this set of people have decided that nothing come come rain come shine there is nothing you will be able to do against them that they don't know already and that is the situation they have put themselves that's the situation that the uh, Ndibu have uh, sworn on their own those have decided to that their eyes have opened to what these people are truly doing creating this particular uh, 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 state police against the type of esm biafra army or whatever it is is a is a waste of his time because those set of people if they are not already among the Nigerian army or recruiting a new set of people, those, that means uh, it, he, he has just opened a new set of people that would lose their lives for nothing instead of him to just do the expected and accept and also uh, uh, listen to what we are doing. Recently, we just see two things. I will say it again. Release the leader that they has already been acquitted of all charges, number one. 
and then give us what we want. We are already setting up things on our own. We are not asking for help with that. That concerns us alone. Do that and then we, we, we will not have a problem with anything you are saying. But this particular person has decided, no, nothing you say is going to make sense. Nothing you, you, you are saying at this particular point is going to make sense. And then that is the issue we are having at this point. That is the main issue we have had up to now and so my people this is it this is we we can only hope that the uh, things will get better for us and that uh, at some point they will come to their realization that there is no backing down and that they will always come to their knees in fact they will surely come to their knees if they've not realized that fact okay my people this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications to thank you